take two. So, as I mentioned in my mail call, this video did not want to record correctly. So, again, Star Trek, The Art of John Eves from 2018. Hardcover. There is the back. Synopsis. It's from Titan Books. There's this. Them as well. Strictly an art run. That's all we're doing. Five chapters. <clears throat> yeah, this really made me mad. So, anyway. I'm a lot calmer now. My phone is fully charged. There's going to be two-page spreads. And all kinds of little ones hidden throughout. So, that's exactly what we're doing. Strictly art run. So, if you're watching this on your TV, fantastic. That's the way you should be watching it. So, uh, this book is good. It was a disappointment, though, because I was hoping for, like, more artwork and stuff. But, mm, mm, it's okay, but it's not what I was hoping for. So, I was kind of bummed about that. But still, the artwork's beautiful. And it's fun to see John's process through the years from, you know, the rough drafts to, you know, stronger stuff down the road. This is my favorite ship, the Enterprise B. Because it's, it's uh, big, it's bulky. It looks stronger than it, it, it is. And I like that for many reasons. Like, it doesn't get enough, um, I don't think it gets enough credit, honestly. So, in this book, if you know who he is, uh, you get to see John Eve's work and process in creating some of the most memorable vessels, weapons, people, and stuff from Star Trek through the years. You'll get to see blueprints, well, not blueprints, uh, rough drafts, final compositions, early concepts, amazing, just, it's grand artwork here. And I like it, it's a good book, but, you know, like I said, I was disappointed, because it didn't have a lot of stuff in it, which was really strange. It didn't have anything about Voyager. Honestly, it really didn't, which kind of shocked me. But, I do love this book, but I don't think I will be owning it, though, because it's not really eh, worth my money, to be honest. That's cool. I like this concept more. Up to the Borg. Yeah. So why didn't the first video go through? Well, I recorded it whole 23 minutes. And I went to upload and the motherfucker just decided to not cooperate. Yeah, that was fun. That made me so happy. I got the board queen. I mean, his concept work is phenomenal. And the final process of it is even more grand in scale. So if you are a diehard Trek fan, this is something you definitely want in your collection. If not, this isn't what you like. If you like to collect ship books and art books, definitely what you need. You'll like this. This is one thing I really like. The depth perspective of this alone. Just this. I mean, that's a lot of line art. That is a lot of work. That's a lot of pens. <laughs> and this is pretty, too. Oh, my. And the breakdown of the warp core.
data scout ship. The Sona ship. Now, Insurrection, that was an okay film. Not my particular favorite. I would take Nemesis over that any day of the week. Uh, if you are into sci-fi, this is definitely up your alley. If not, totally get that. Not everybody's into sci-fi. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really pissed off at that video. So, no. Nemesis. This is my favorite movie, actually. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like it because Data dies. And they didn't like how stuff was handled or some shit. I'm like, whatever. That should be a poster. That too. <laughs> Here's the captain's chair. Enterprise E wide span. My favorite ship, the Scimitar. It's a beast of a ship. And that looks like an ant's head. So that's the thing about most of this art is that you can trace it back to its origins depending uh, on, you know, what you're looking at. Scorpion attack fighters. These are really cool. And that looks like Batman's, the Batplane from 89. And then they went with, you know, more linear, a more sleeker approach to it. Space Dock. And we have the television series. DS9's original setup. Space Station. Bajoran and Cardassians. I gotta say, I kind of wish he would have done a coloring book for this shit. <laughs> it would have been really cool. Klingons. And this book covers up to Star Trek Discovery. So there's far beyond the stars covers. Another concept for DS9. And more. This is a Cardassian freighter from Return to Grace. I just, I love his texturing, his lines, his inking, his, just all of it. Like, it's beautiful. His eidetic memory is phenomenal. Christmas cards, micro machines, nutcracker. Christmas. Generation and Voyager. <clears throat> Generation and Voyager, my bad. Like you see, there wasn't a whole lot. I like that though. See, that's what I'm talking about. No Star Trek Enterprise concepts. I'm like, why was this section so fucking short? Like, that's dumb. 
I was hoping for like more art on that. <coughs> and given this is in 28, came out two years ago, you know, and the shows are over, there should have been a lot of fucking art for that, but oh well. Helix. But, yeah, that's just me. Whatever. There's probably other art books out there. Zindi. A little two-pager there. Alien Ships. Tholians. Klingons. I did like Star Trek Enterprise. That was good shit. The Romulans. Vulcans. Vulcan Homeworld. <laughs> Terrace. <laughs> Yep. Told you. Star Wars is influenced by Trek. The Kelvin timeline. Kelvin shuttle. I like that. That would actually make a good ATV, actually. If they ever wanted to do that. Enterprise shuttle. Kobayashi Maru and Klingon Battle Cruiser. <laughs> cool. Man, I don't think I'm going to buy this book, though. Kind of a letdown. Like, I was going to spree buy it, but then I just, eh. After I checked my library first, found it, read it, I'm like, eh. I don't really want this that badly. So. It's a pass, but, you know, as a Trekker, as a dedicated Trek fan, it's still cool. Yeah. I didn't like Into Darkness. Like, it was cool. USS Vengeance was the best. That was the dopest part about it. <sighs> but, yeah. Starfleet weapons. You'll see that a lot. I wouldn't mind having that as a replica weapon. That'd be nice. I mean, they do have replica weapons, but they don't have many, which is strange. Like, there's some, but most of them are, like, very expensive to obtain, and, uh, lightsabers. <laughs> yep. I know that pisses somebody off. Like, eh, why are you talking Star Wars? Khan's Gatling gun. Yeah. Star Trek Beyond. I gotta rewatch this. I liked it, but it didn't click with me the second time, so the third will probably be the charm. Vulcans. Necklaces. Weapons. More weapons. That's a cool shotgun in the corner. More tech. Franklin tech. Franklin medical equipment. More lightsabers. Jayla staff. But we all know it's Ray staff, so. Uh -huh. Spock's photo box. And Discovery. I love Discovery. It's such a good show. I know people bitched about it so much. 
cried about how there's no story, it's junk, it's woke <laughs> when it's not. Like, Trek has been woke, <laughs> as people like to call it, since the 60s. So, yeah, check this out. Shuttle Bay! Come on. There we go. Yeah, his work is beautiful. I will give him that. I just wish there had been more to it. You know, more sketches and shit. Shinzo. And most of these ships, you can go back to Star Trek Legacy, the video game, and actually see them in action. Before they got their names and stuff and whatnot. Starfleet ships. So many designs. It's crazy. I love it. They are really pretty, though. Like, the different concept choices and how you combine them. Shepherd class. Love that. ISS Chiron. That's from season two. I remember this. I didn't remember it the first time, but then rereading it, I'm like, ah, oh, okay. I remember that now. The Enterprise. More lightsabers. And Discovery and the Enterprise. And the Afterword. Dedication, acknowledgments, and back page. There's Joe. We're done. So, I will be back in a little bit. Stay tuned.